What is up guys and welcome to another weekly video. Now Marla and I are off thrift shopping like always every week but this time we're going to head up north because it's been a while since we've actually been there. So first off we're going to go to Salvo's Red Hill because we didn't go there this week at all and then we're going to go check out all of north side of Brisbane or a lot of the good shops and see what we can possibly find there. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, living the dream. So this is what my burger is supposed to look like right here guys. I'm about to show you what they presented me. What the fuck? Hey, look how shit and sad that is. Ugh, I paid nine bucks for that. What? So we've just filled our bolly bollies, our bodies full of poison. So now we're gonna go check out probably one or two more op shops because Marla's been called into work. So we'll check out a couple more, then we're gonna go home, um, and then I might do some research on some garage sales for Saturday. Do the jeans and uh... Ew, 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 what is that? Oh my God, someone's used tanky. Ah! Burn it. So um, it's a beautiful Saturday morning, windy as all hell, it's nice and cold, which is great, and we're going garage selling, so uh, come along guys and let's see if we can find some treasure. struggle to get out of bed this morning I'll tell you that uh, comment below if you guys are early birds or if you're a, a late bird uh, because yeah it was a struggle this morning I like to get up early but my god I don't know about Marla Marla fell asleep and slept like a truck so but yep we're almost at the garage sales we've got what another 11 minutes to go there's a whole street that's uh, just garage sales so we're gonna go check it out and uh, see what we can find. We found it because um, the guy was posting thousands of Pokemon cards and everything and then he just said yeah the whole, the whole street's doing a garage sale so uh, we're gonna go suss this out and hopefully we can just spend all the money there and be done with it. Here we are, we're at the Crescent, we're just waiting because it starts at 7 and uh, we're here about half an hour early. Do you fart? So those two garage sales were an absolute flop unless they go back there because they were collectors. Uh, the kid was selling opened Pokemon card packs for seven bucks, but you can get them brand new uh, for six dollars. So that made no sense. Uh, and the guy had a whole bunch of like collectors' items, uh, like comic books, you name it. Uh, but I just don't know too much into it. Um, in saying that, like you could buy the entire box for sixty, but you just don't know what you're going to pick up. You could probably pick up something good or some things that are worthless. But yeah, we're off to another one now at Wynnum, um, and then after that we might do some op shopping. So we just went to a deceased uh, estate sale, and uh, the dude had some pretty good taste, not going to lie. Nothing for us, unfortunately. There was a giant Legolas, uh, like a figurine, and Legolas spoke, but the stand was missing, which was very unfortunate. But uh, yeah, no, it was a lot of interesting uh, items that dude has been collecting over time. But now we're gonna go get some food. Gotta go pick up a car mat thing so we can uh, stop seeing the glare of the car. And then we're gonna go op shopping. So we just ate and uh, learn how to park, buddy. That's fucking awful. So it's a brother kind of day. Found these two bad boys, six bucks, but I will be talking to the guys. One of them's open, so I'll see if I can do $10 for the lot. Uh, they're doing really well online, so around the $100 mark. So if I can do one for $10, that'd be awesome. Okay, so far in sales wise, just from the items I picked up today, I'm probably looking about $300 to $350. So from the couple of bucks to $350, it's a good day so far. We're gonna go to a Salvo's now. Hopefully they got some more ink cartridges there, but we're going to keep checking the salvos because I've filled one stamp already. I've got another two to go. So uh, the next time we go op shopping, which will be on a Monday, 50% off, baby. Can't wait. Boom. 
Salvo has picked up a Jack Daniels duffel bag. Inside there is a calculator, brand new, still in its original packaging. So uh, yeah, today is killer. So Wynnum actually came through for us. We actually picked up that Mills jacket right there and a whole bunch of clothing items here. So Wynnum had a bad experience the first time, but this time you came through. So we're gonna go to the Cooperu Asthma Op Shop now uh, to see my boy, the manager, hopefully hook us up with a deal if they have anything there. Then it's time to go home and list. Hey guys, we're back home. Now, before I show you what I actually purchased on Friday and Saturday, I've just made a sale. So I'm just gonna quickly pull that out of the bit. It was a 2XL uh, men's Guns N' Roses shirt. So pretty much it was in bin B and it was B11. So I'm gonna try and do this with one hand. B11, here it is. So it's just a Guns N' Roses shirt. You got B11 there. So this bad boy here is gonna go off to a brand new home. Uh, so pretty much I'm gonna go through um, what I picked up on Friday and then show you guys what I found on Saturday. This is something a little different. I'm trying to mix it up every single week. Uh, if you guys like this sort of style, where I'm gonna just quickly go through instead of sitting down, uh, let us know in the comments below. But pretty much, <coughs> sorry, it's getting a bit cold, so I can really start to feel the flu coming on. Um, on Friday, went to the church um, that was close to us and Salvo's Red Hill. Uh, so we picked up a couple of great items at the church alone. Sorry, I've got my lights on too so we can see easier. Picked up a pair of these Adidas uh, women's snow hiking boots. Uh, paid about six bucks for those. Uh, also a pair of uh, Nike free runs. Now this is the Atomic, uh, what do they call it? A rain Rainbow Atomic version. Uh, there's only two of these on eBay at the moment and they're going for about 140 uh, because this style of shoe alone is, is very sought after. Uh, as far as clothing goes, picked up a pair of uh, Poltec pants. Uh, also picked up this jacket here. It is actually a G-Star Raw jacket. Uh, so this is a men's, it's a size medium. It's also got the patch on the side. So that was actually a really good score there. It actually works out with a clothing and shoes to be $5.55 per item. Uh, so it was a good day. Also picked up a Thomas Pink uh, shirt here. So just a Thomas Pink. Now I haven't sold Thomas Pink before, but this is gonna be a shot because I know in America, the guys, they sell them there uh, quite well. Also picked up a staple brand, pair of Levi's, of course. Also going to give this a shot. I uh, found this for about two bucks. Uh, this is a Fox men's motorcycle, uh, long sleeve motorcycle shirt. Uh, they're going for about, I think, if I can remember, about 40 bucks online. So should be able to fetch that, no problem. It's coming close to winter. So you've got a Columbia uh, men's small, uh, just a basic vest, uh, blue there. And also a pair of Katmandu. So this is the Katmandu. Is this the convertible? Yeah, so they're the convertible Katmandu pants. Uh, so, yep, pick those up. And a pair of women's uh, Katmandu pants as well. So that's everything I found on Friday. Now let's go into Saturday. So Saturday being today, which for you guys would have been yesterday, was a really great day as far as garage selling goes, uh, it was a real bust, uh, especially with that, that kid with the Pokemon card selling them open for seven, which you just can't trust. Uh, but the op shops were on point. It was a fantastic day. So pretty much over here, picked up three Brothers ink cartridges. They're selling for about a hundred bucks above a piece. I uh, also picked up this brand new accounting book. It's all sealed. Uh, that's the original price right there. Um, so those right there alone, look at about 350 in sales. Um, if we come over here, picked up this, this is a Jack Daniels. Um, see if you can see it in the light. There we are, Jack Daniels leather bag. Picked it up for $10. And also this calculator sealed in the packet, three bucks. These are going for about 30 bucks um, online, which I should be able to get very easy now, I went, as you guys know, I went to the asthma op shop at Cooper Roo. I didn't actually show you in the footage, but the bloke was there, the manager with the beard. He just come back off his honeymoon because uh, I told him no, I haven't seen him in a while. He got married like three weeks ago, just come back off his honeymoon, so he was very, very happy. Ended up making a really good deal with him. Spent about, what was it, $80 all up at the op shop. So the first item I'm gonna show you here 
is a PlayStation 4 Guitar Hero bundle. It's got the dongle, the game, and obviously the guitar. Uh, this is an amazing score because I didn't see the, like they had it for $25. I didn't see it at the time. Um, and we were both looking at it, we looked it over, we couldn't see the price, which was behind the game. And he's just like, I'll just give it to you for 15. I then saw the price, he's like, yeah, I'll still give it to you for 15. So 15 bucks into it, probably about 130. That's a great score right there. And as far as the clothing goes, um, with all the clothing, it works out to be, sorry, I'll show you. I've actually got it all written down. Um, $6.94 per item. So with the Asthma Op Shop, first item right here, it was actually a really good um, find as well. You've got the Longhorn RN Williams shirt, great condition. So the fact that I picked this up, and he actually, um, he made it a lot cheaper as well, all the items, he actually cut them down in price to make it a lot easier for me. Um, just cause he's like, I know you come here all the time, I know you always buy in bulk, let's, let's work something out. Um, that's why I love going there. Like some people go there, they think it's expensive, but if you go there often, you get to know the people and you can actually start to build a rapport and start making deals. The next item, just a Levi's medium shirt. You got the Levi's white tag at the front there. I uh, should be able to pick 30, 35 bucks for that one. This one here, this is what I was really excited about. Just another Scotch and Soda long sleeve men's shirt. Now this is a size large. Um, which you guys know I sell scotch and soda any day and I always love to pick them up because not only do they sell at a very high price but when you go to pick up the shirts you really want to look over the shirt because you just never know what they're gonna put on the shirt and it's 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 a really good game to find all the hidden little um, patches and whatnot on the actual shirt so keep an eye on that guys if you find Scotch and soda is have a look at the shirt, see if you can find all the patches and whatnot. It's actually pretty cool. I found one, actually, I'll show you under here. This one here is on the inside of the shirt. It's like new and improved shirt makers from your favorite brand. Um, I've still got to go through and find the rest of them, but I'm sure I'll find plenty more. So, the next item it's a women's basic shirt, but it's a basic shirt that I was willing to pick up because it's RM Williams. It's a size 14 uh, women's, just a basic long sleeve top. Price wise, I'll probably get about 30 bucks, 35 bucks for that any day. Now this one here I was really excited about. This is a brand new with tags, Brax. Now the original price for the Brax is $275. Now I scored this brand new with tags, amazing find. Um, I'll have to do up some more comps to find out what I could possibly price it for, but I'll probably be looking about the 100 mark, to be honest, maybe 100, 120. And see what happens on the high end. Picked up a pair of Lees. Now, these Lees here are the reason why a lot of the items are cheap. Paid only two bucks for them. So it actually ended up making everything become a lot cheaper, which is great. Uh, but I could sell the Lees for about 40, 45. No dramas at all. Uh, and the last item from the op shop is, ironically, another pair of Lees. These bad boys here. Uh, I could probably fetch the same price any day. So that was a great score uh, with the Guitar Hero and the clothing at the Asthma Op Shop. So, uh, now I'm just gonna go through this uh, this big pile here. Now this is a, a pile of a random op shop and a couple of salvos, uh, which if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you would have seen a couple of posts already. The link will be in the bio. So go follow me on Instagram, guys, because I post up stories pretty much on a daily basis. Uh, so the first item here, it's just a basic, I took this on a chant, but it's Giorgio Armani. It's just a basic Giorgio Armani uh, men's long sleeve shirt. Uh, next item here is, oh yep, Aaron Williams. So this is another Aaron Williams. Of course, you've got the Stockyard Aaron Williams logo over here on the pocket. Next item is Guess. So this is a Guess men's shirt, checkered shirt, long sleeve. Now, I'd probably be fetching about 35 for that. The Aaron Williams, I'll probably search about 40, 45. Um, Maybe we take a best offer of 35. Now this item here, this was a, another great score. I'll get out of the light a bit, guys. Sorry about that. I went to a random op shop and they were having 50% off uh, pretty much all clothing. Um, so I picked up this men's rod and gun and it's all brand new with tags. Paid only $4.50 for it. So $4.50 for a rod and gun uh, men's shirt. Yes, thank you. I'll pick that up any day. At the salvos, also picked up Lucky Brand, 
Now this is a men's version. I've got a couple of women's up there which I'm not having luck with. But I'm gonna try the men's version and see how I go with that one there. Also, pair of rod and gun jeans. Button front, rod and gun for me sells any day uh, of the week. So as soon as I see it, if the price is right, I'll pick it up. And that price there was more than enough. Also, a pair of Wrangler. Now these were made in the USA, just basic black Wrangler jeans, um, which should be able to fetch around the 45, 50 mark. Now, this last item is a doozy. This is courtesy of Marla. This is a Nil, I think it's called. Yeah, Nils women's jacket. Now this bad boy here, Marla did the comps and everything. Brand new, they go for like 250 and above. This thing is in great condition. I'll probably be aiming for about the $150 mark. Maybe, I'll have to do some more comps. See if I can find an exact type. And if someone sold it recently on eBay, then I'll, I'll, I'll list it accordingly to the pricings on eBay. But that's pretty much it guys. So yeah, you've got Fridays, you've got Saturdays, you've got the guitar here, you've got the bags, you've got the calculators, you've got all the ink cartridges, and you've got the book. So that is everything that I found on Saturday. Friday was great. So we're probably ultimately looking around a minimum 600 in sales easily. If you guys agree with that, um, you know, with what you've just seen here, comment down below or comment down what you reckon I'll possibly make all up in sales just from the two days of thrift shopping. Uh, so I'm gonna leave this here guys. I've got a lot of work to do now as you can see. If you did like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Also subscribe because I do this on a weekly basis and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.